okay we have been running this uh, run server command to load our website now i want to show you the back end of this website an admin panel okay but before that you must have noticed this uh, warning uh, you have uh, 18 unapplied migrations your project may not work properly until you apply the migrations for the app okay so what this means is django gives you some default database tables to manage the admin panel authentication sessions and other django related stuff okay so those tables needs to be created in the database before you create your own data okay so you simply have to run this python manage.py migrate command to uh, get the database tables created okay so those are some of the default database tables that you need to create in uh, every project okay so when you run this python manage dot uh, by uh, migrate command all those tables will get created in the database okay so here you can see these are all the uh, migrations that are uh, applied right now okay i'll talk about uh, migrations later in this course okay so don't worry about that right now all right so as i said before we get built-in admin panel where we can do almost all types of uh, crud operations so to access the admin panel you just have to go to the admin url so where is the admin url now so if you look at the uh, my site uh, my site urls.py you see this path admin right so this is what the admin url is okay so this is the admin url we need to access the admin url to get the uh, you know to go to the admin panel okay, before that we of course need to run the server okay python manage not by run server all right now uh, you see uh, we don't have any uh, unapplied migration threads we have just applied we have just created all those uh, tables okay all those default tables okay so now uh, okay so i think i need to change this color okay i don't want this uh, blue color so in the style.css i will remove this css property okay save this and hard refresh on this page okay so here go to admin panel okay so when you hit enter you actually uh, go to this page here it is asking you for the login okay so this is the uh, django admin login page but uh, where is the login credentials okay we don't have any login credentials yet right well in django we create a super user using the command line okay we have a command called create super user that's what we need to run to get the login credentials to log in to this admin panel all right so at this point we are ready to create the super user so for that what you need to do you need to simply stop the server and uh let me clear this so here you run this python manage.py create super user okay python manage.py create super user okay you run this command and now it will ask you for the username okay so i'll say tango admin and the email address we are actually creating a user okay so it has the super user uh, permission uh, gmail.com okay developer.authenet.gmail.com and you set the password now set any strong password all right my super user is created successfully now i can go ahead and log into my admin panel okay run the server and uh, go to this uh, login page and put your credentials okay you should actually enter your username okay not the email address all right so click on login and here you can see site administration this is actually the back end of your django website okay so here you can actually create the user okay so when you click on this user and add user from here you can actually uh, add the user and if you want to see the current you know current uh, user and here you can see all those things the password is actually hashed okay and uh, these are actually the basic things all right so, and uh, we also have this groups we'll talk about groups later sometime okay so currently just focus on this users 
okay so that's about uh, django admin panel so if you want to customize this django admin panel you you can definitely customize it okay so i also have a course called car zone where i build you know car listing project so in that project i have actually showed you how to uh, you know how to customize the admin panel so it's actually simple so there is no rocket sense in it but anyways for the beginners this is about the uh, django admin panel all right and in the next video we'll uh, we'll create a model or we'll create our custom uh, database table all right for the employees all right so i'll see you in the next one